tired of spending hours creating sales dashboards? In this video, I'll show you how to create compelling AI-driven sales dashboards with ChatGPT. Welcome to Dave's Coffee Shop Data. This is my data set that I'm going to use through the whole video. And we start with the date. So we have two years of sales data. We actually have the year of 2023 and 2024 for a total of 1,800 lines right here. So it's a pretty total data set. And then we have our products. We sell cappuccino, espresso, grounded coffee, latte, and whole beans. We have our sales amount here. We have different region, downtown, rural, suburban, and uptown. We have our different salesperson, and we have the different department. Other than that, we have some information about the transaction IDs, the customer satisfaction score, and the number of items sold. All of my data is transformed into a table to make sure that AI recognizes it. So I'm just going to go on chatgpt.com here. I'm just going to click here and upload my dataset Excel spreadsheet. Here we go. Coffee shop sales data V2. Boom, it loads. And then I am going to copy paste this prompt here that I've prepared just before. We are a coffee shop and here is the sales data of two years, the year 2023 and 2024. I'd like to make a sales analysis for the management team and I want you to make a sales dashboard. The goal is to have the most common questions answered such as which are the best products in terms of sales, which salespersons are the best, what is the trend of the sales, a quarterly analysis, a year over year analysis. I will also like to know if you could detect any trend. Make sure you add any additional insights that could be useful for the management team. I'm going to click on send here and in the matter of seconds, I will receive this analysis by ChatGPT. First, it did a total sales per product analysis and a total sales per salesperson analysis. This is actually what I asked in my prompt here, which are the best products in terms of sales and which salesperson are the best. But ChatGPT didn't split them year by year. Just for the records here, on this analysis, I will make sure that the data visualizations are relevant and also assess the insightfulness of the analysis provided by the tools. So on this first chart here, I would have loved if ChatGPT split them by year. It made some weird empty graph here for some reason. And then it did a year over year sales comparison by product, which was a question that I asked him specifically. So pretty cool here. We have the 2023 and then 2024. But what I don't like is the color scheme of the tool. So basically here we have a gradient from yellow to red, but we can't clearly see if the cappuccino is the last down here or if it's espresso. It could have chose better clear colors, right? So if we keep going here, ChatGPT made a monthly sales trend. So I asked him specifically for a sales trend. So here it goes. And it is pretty decent, I shall admit here. We have our worst month, which is October and November of 2023. And we can clearly see that we have our best month of 2023 here, which is July. Pretty clear. The only thing I don't like about this chart here is that it cut the Y axis. So it started at 325,000. So it's a little bit misleading here. We can think that October is a really, really bad month, while indeed it's only 150K less than July. But it seems really, really like a huge drop with this cut axis here. ChatGPT made me a summary of the sales analysis for the coffee shop. So total sales per product, it told me the top product was the whole beans, but it didn't give me any insights on what we should do. Should we make some promotion for the worst sales product by instance? And it actually combined the two years once again. It gave me the total sales per sales person. And as we can see, Mocha Mike is the top sales person. Again, no really clear insights. I asked ChatGPT to make a quarterly sales analysis here. And here it is. It didn't provide any data visualizations related to that. So only data. So a little bit disappointed here by ChatGPT. It made a year over year sales comparison. No numbers, just 
three words cappuccino slight increase espresso stable so again i'm not impressed here by the quality of the insights provided by chat gpt it gave me just a quick sentence about the year over year growth overall there has been a steady increase in sales from 2023 to 2024 with the whole beans showing the most significant growth again here if i bring this to the table to my management team i would have loved to bring data to the table saying this is the most significant growth it represent 40 percent of our total growth from year over year but nothing like that was actually given to me by chat gpt we talk about the chart here the monthly sales trend analysis it tells me that the monthly sales trend shows fluctuations with peaks in july and december this is actually what is shown on the chart so that's great insight and the year 2024 had a more stable sales throughout the months with a slight decrease toward the end of the year so once again it tells me hey the sales are going down you guys should watch this this is great insight in my opinion it gave me additional insights so we didn't see any chart about the customer satisfaction score which was a data in our data set and it tells me that this metric wasn't explicitly analyzed but it could provide insights into customer preferences and areas for improvement we could go ahead and prompt ChatGPT to give me more information about this it talked about the regional analysis and the department performance that it will be two extra variables that we could actually analyze it tells me something really generic here that these insights can help the management team making more informed decisions but it doesn't tell me anything specific to do any area we could explore pretty cool here but ChatGPT didn't give me anything about the regional analysis just like it told me here so i asked it can you show the sales per region here and here we go in a matter of seconds it gave me a chart the total sales per region so we can see that our uptown region is the best region once again it wasn't split by year this is what's interesting me here so i just asked chat gpt for which year are the sales per region above it told me the sales per region are both years so 2023 and 2024 so i just asked please make the yearly breakdown so here we are we have a chart that is the yearly sales per region and the first thing that i find kind of weird is that the color scheme completely changed here so here we have our uptown region in yellow and if i scroll back up a little bit it was the pink region uh, kind of weird i don't know why it didn't keep the same colors but what is cool here is that we have those little buttons here so i can click here on the button switch to interactive chart boom and if i click and then i can mouse over everything and i see the actual numbers pretty cool we can click on this button here to select all colors so we said that those color we didn't like them and then boom we can change it straight up in the tool pretty interesting but this is not excel right uh, when i do a sales dashboard analysis i want to do this in a tool that makes sense not in chat gpt itself and then i can click here on expand charts and here we go it brings me to this here so we have a little better view but i can actually download the chart and this will give me an image of the chart if we keep going chat gpt gave me a breakdown of the sales per region but again no clear insights it just gives me some observations nothing i can actually take action on and this is about it about what it did so far for my sales dashboard but as i said earlier we probably want to analyze all of this into an excel spreadsheet or any kind of tool so i asked chat gpt can you summarize all of this information in an excel spreadsheet so it makes a dashboard to present to the management team please ChatGPT told me i've compiled all of the sales data and insights into an excel spreadsheet and then it gave me an excel file that i can just download but it didn't quite hit the mark uh, the excel spreadsheet that it gave me only had one chart and it was not that clean so i kept going this excel spreadsheet has no visuals in it and then it, i kept going and going and the third time is a charm as they say and then what it gave me is actually this file here and in every tab it gave me all of the data set of the analysis it did but what i don't like here is that it gave me the same chart in every tab with the relevant data but the chart doesn't match the data so i'm a little bit disappointed here on the data visualization that it gave me what i made though really quick is i took some screenshots from the chat gpt and if you're in a rush 
three minutes before a meeting, you don't have anything prepared for the management team. They warned you 30 minutes before you had something else to do. You can take the screenshots from the ChatGPT to have a rough idea of where your sales are going. And this is what I made. Of course, it's not that cute, but it does the job for a quick draft, right? And I actually copy pasted the insight that it gave me here. And I made some kind of dashboards here. If we remove these grid lines and then we put all of this in gray, we have some kind of dashboard that is actually not that bad for a first draft. Let's say it like that. If you enjoyed today's video, please subscribe to my channel and you can also watch this video right here.